Hello Cancers, welcome to your June Tarot reading. I'm Sonia Parker, this is the Spiritual Centre. Before we start your reading, just to let you know, if you're looking to develop spiritually, we have our next set of masterclasses starting um, at the beginning of July. So if you're interested in that, pop over to the spiritualcentre.net and you'll find the information there. Okay, so the cards that I'm using this month are the Spirit Animal Oracle deck and my own tarot deck. Okay, so for the overall energy, we've got Dragonfly. Dragonfly magic. I embrace my transformation. I courage, courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. What a beautiful card. I also feel with this card that... <laughs> Dragonflies flit about. They it's hard to catch them or it's hard to see them because they're here one second, they're gone the next. So I feel that this is you. It's almost as though you've been flitting about or you will be flitting about doing lots of different things. Okay, what else do we feel with the dragonfly? I don't I feel being transparent this month is important. Um just telling everybody everything you know just being very open about how you feel and what you want as well okay so let's see what guidance and messages we can get for you cancers from the tarot the here and now the happy family one of my favorite cards in the deck the ten of cups so right now you're in a really good place Past events, endings, the difficult. I do feel that even you could have moved or or there's, I feel there's movement. With this transformation, I feel that there's, it's almost as like it's a new you, but I do feel that you could have moved home. You could have even moved country. There's movement of some kind. Um, I don't feel it's around work. I feel it's around home life and family. I feel there's been a, something shifted. There's been changes. What does spirit want to say to you? And we have the six of swords. And what they're saying is don't take the baggage from the past into this new venture or into this new space. If you haven't moved, I feel decorating or changing the change within your home. There's changes. Uh, I feel they've already happened. If they haven't, then they're coming soon. But it's almost as though don't take what's happened in the past along your journey with you now. It's almost as though you need to bag up those rubbish, chuck it overboard, get rid of those swords before you reach dry land again. So it's, I, I feel this is the transition phase now. You're in that transition phase between moving and being where you want to be. What's hidden from you? We have reversed, and I don't do reversed meanings in the tarot. We have the judgment card. So again, the judgment card is about... Taking responsibility for your own actions, uh, not allowing others to overpower you as well, answering up to others, standing up to others. And I feel that um, this is something that you need to do. I do feel, though, don't jump to any conclusions with what's going on either. Okay. So your strengths are the page of coins. And I feel that actually you're quite, it's almost as though there's hesitancy of whether you should be doing this or whether you're going in the right direction. So almost so you're hesitant. And I feel that happens with the dragonfly as well because the dragonfly flutters around. It's almost as though it's hesitant before it moves on. What are your strengths? And we have the Queen of Cups. It comes out a lot in the reading in that particular position. Um, for me, the Queen of Cups is, is the mother figure. Um, and being in your strengths position, it's almost as though you are that strong. Even if you're a male watching this, this is your strong feminine side. But if you're female, this is your strong, nurturing, um, compassionate side that is your strength your potential for this month again this has come out a lot in this particular position 
and this is the hanged man i do feel that you may feel that your hands are tied i do feel that you may need to just hold back hold back slightly from rushing full steam ahead hopes and fears and what you need to do okay so you do need to stand your ground totally you do need to stand your ground you will also have to work hard this month and i always think that working hard is really good because if we work hard for what we want we it's almost as though there's that exchange of energy you know give something back if you take something give something back okay your immediate steps is to persevere definitely persevere but i also feel like it's contemplation contemplate and persevere don't forget if there is that movement around you to go for it your long-term outcome okay i do feel with this that that is to do with this this, this ending that i felt right back here with the death card that's it done and dusted there's no going back to something from the past the only way ahead is to go forward and trust in your own intuition um i do feel that a new pathway is opening up for you this month but that pathway is hidden and that pathway that choice of pathway is something that you need to trust your inner instincts you don't need to worry about it there's going to be that time of suspension there's going to be that time of contemplation and then that pathway will open up look around the 15th of june as an important pivotal day to when things are going to change for you for when that transformation is going to really kick in well bless you for watching i hope it resonates with you if it does please let me know in the comments please like and share and please pop over to my website thespiritualcenter.net i give away a free personal reading every month and also don't forget we've got the spiritual development masterclass is starting in a few weeks as well bless you for watching